prediction ascension love me or hate me there's no in between so apparently in california they're taking down the u-turn signs it says you no u-turn i believe no u-turn between midnight to 6 a.m so they want they don't want people to drive illicitly into oncoming traffic into the um, outer lanes i guess that's what it usually means but they did say there's history behind the u-turn sign maybe they're making it up for the alphabet boys because they have nothing left because even the gays are bashing the gays now i'm telling you this is what happens when a host a parasite starts to eat himself when there's nothing else to leash onto the parasite that starts to eat itself and then you see within this community the alphabet fucking boys but check it out look, look at this dumbass commentary uh fair use fox 11 L.A. City representatives are fighting, uh, are writing rather, an old wrong. Ooh, this and tall so ass like, boy. Here it is. And it also do with street signs. Signs that read, no U-turn. It came down today. The signs, in addition to no cruising But look, signs, they had a real man the take the signs down. By neighbors who were targeting LGBTQ community members. It was no uh, at this that the signs were put up. After the LGBT community continued to grow more in the 90s uh, here in Silver Lake, in fact, they was, uh, part of the reason they were probably put up was because there was a, an LGBT bar that was just literally down the street uh, from the same area. It's good that we're trying, that we're finding the areas and the symbols within our own very city that continue to have these hateful remnants of the past. <laughs> the Silver Lake Community Council voted years ago to remove the no cruising signs, but some of the no U-turn signs remained until today. The removal of the signs is part of the city's effort to commemorate Pride Month. I ain't buying it, bro. You you got enough stuff as is, and now you're telling me it's a U-turn sign there because it was an LGBTQ bar somewhere across there. This is how you know the Alphabet Mafia is losing their goddamn minds. U-turn signs is permitted at a certain time because between midnight and 6 a.m., if you look at the laws and stuff like that, those are the times when the most accidents are occur because people are driving impaired. It's not what it is. It's New York, California, Maine, Florida. People are more impaired between the hours of midnight and 6 in the morning because they're coming from clubs and certain areas where they was hanging out with friends, especially on the weekends. So they're trying to not have people, you know, make U-turns with someone doing fucking 90 coming down the block. And they have no time to use their brakes any goddamn way because they superseding the speed limit. But this is another fact of the, 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 the Alphabet Boys, the Alphabet Mafia, taking control of what something stupid as that is. Because I don't understand how that's a derogatory statement towards Pride Month or gays or lesbians or queers. I have no clue what a U-turn sign means. Maybe it means no back door over here. <laughs> Who knows? This is crazy, but I got to do more research. I'm going to look it up right now to see if this is actually a true factor of the U-turn sign being some type of um, truth of them not being able to do things and stuff like that because they put a U-turn sign up. It's crazy, man. Yo, I can't find no research on that. Like, I actually... Actually, I was on pause for a minute. I was looking on YouTube. I was looking on Google. I was looking on Yahoo and just search. I don't see no research on someone putting up a U-turn sign to stop the uh, community or the LGBT or the Alphabet Boys or the Alphabet Mafia, whatever the fuck you want to call these fucking queers. Any type of situation that they was involved in to stop them from going to a bar that was down the street a quarter mile in San Jose, uh, California. I think it's just another ploy to put them in the news because I'll tell you, this is when the lefties eat the lefties. This is when parasite eats itself because there's nothing else to leech on from the host. The host has, which is the right wing, the conservative, the Trump, we have literally, even with the, the Trump verdict him being guilty, we literally didn't even jump out of our seats because of that shit because we knew he was going to be found guilty. I knew he was going to be found guilty because I knew it was a corrupt system from the get-go. But, like in my previous video, you're mad that a white woman said nigga, but you're not mad as a mongrel, bald-headed, scallywag, fat, big-back,
black women, woman that killed a three-year-old kid. Whether he was white or black, it doesn't matter. It was a child of innocence. A three-year-old doesn't know things. Doesn't know hatred or, or racism or anything in that nature. So, with a butcher knife, you, you attack the mom and the, the child and because she's black. There's no Black Lives Matter. There's no one accosting her. There's no one canceling this bitch. But they were trying to cancel Lily Gass Gaddis. This is crazy, bro. This is why I say they do the 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 left and the Democrats are so desperate. I'm not even going to do anything on really on, on Joe Biden right now. I'm going to just do this two tone thing he had going on with his neck. His neck looked as dark as mine. Maybe it was a shadow. He was talking more coherently in this interview, but it looks kind of weird. It looked like it was a shapeshifter. But we all know the reptilians in the deep state. They all part of that. They don't want to sacrifice kids or they eat kids, get adrenochrome, everything. We can go down this rabbit hole, but I ain't going to do all that. Because I know some of y'all ain't built for that shit. Because you're, you're still living in Instagram and Facebook and do what you need to do. This is live by your motherfucking lives. But you don't think outside the fucking box. Because all you worry about is fucking labels and food loops. So it is what it is. But anything. I'm just letting you know. There's no research on that U-turn shit. There's nothing. They're about a U-turn sign keeping people away from the gay bars. So we already know what it is. The fruitcakes need to be put in the spotlight again. But it is what it is, man. Predicts and ascension. Hate me and love me. There's no in between. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Help me out with the algorithm. It is what it is. It's mental. It's uh, Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. Slash Pride Month. Slash Juneteenth. It's so much bullshit. But take care of your mental health, man. That's what's more important. You don't need to be running around here and stringing yourself along, getting on drugs and bending on an alcohol bottle. It is what it is, man. Get your mental health together. All men. You know what I mean? Do what we need to do. You already know.